Hi everybody, my name is Avery Williams. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Microchip. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the Hello FPJ kit. Now let's start with why we made the kit. We know that with new customers, it's gonna have a range of knowledge on FPGAs. There's gonna be a lot of customers that know a lot about FPGAs, and then there's gonna be customers that only know a little bit about FPGAs. So we created a low cost, compact size kit targeted toward those users that don't really know a lot about FPGAs in order to make their transition into the FPGA world a simpler one. Now with this demo, with this kit, you're gonna be able to run demos in artificial intelligence, digital signal processing, and image processing, and you're also gonna be able to measure live power com consumption from our Smart Fusion 2 FPGA. So now let's just dive into our first demo, which is the digital signal processing demo. Now with this demo, you're gonna it's going to essentially be a fur filter, so you're gonna be able to pick your filter parameters, like if it's low pass, high pass, and what type of cutoff frequency that you want. But as soon as you're ready, you're able to generate the filter, and your generated filter are gonna pop up on the right side, and you're gonna get your filter response and your filter coefficients. And once you're set with those, you can generate your input signal that you want to be filtered, and you're gonna do that by essentially picking the input frequency and selecting in generate signal. Now once this button is hit, the generated signal is put on the filter input tab and you're going to see the signal in the continuous and the frequency domain. Now once you're set with your filter coefficients and your input signal, you're going to hit start. Now this is going to send that input signal and your coefficients to the FPGA. The FPGA is going to do the filter processing capability that is necessary and that leads to getting that outputted fur filter that I was just talking about. Now, another cool feature that we added to this demo is to be able to see the, the numbers that come out of your signals and your coefficients and the output filter signal for those people that would rather see numbers and graphs. And we also added an auto sweep feature to be able to sweep through a range of values while the demo is running live. And that is just another cool feature of the fur filter demo. And now moving on to the image processing demo. So with this demo, you're basically gonna get a live video stream happening with the Hello FPJ kit, but the camera board has a higher resolution than the display board. So the camera board has to send that data to the FPJ. The FPJ is gonna compress the data and send it to the display board and that's gonna be how we get that live video stream at the correct resolution. Another cool feature is you're gonna be able to change the contrast, the brightness, and the RGB all live while the demo is being ran. But uh, let me move on to the power graph. So while the demo is being running, you're able to see the live power consumption of how much power the FPGA is consuming. But with this, you're gonna be able to enter into flash freeze mode. Now flash freeze mode, as I enter into it right here, this is gonna be a standby low power mode. So the biggest takeaway from the standby low power mode is that right now that live video stream is not working. But once I exit flash freeze mode, keep in mind how fast the FPJ turns on and is able to go back to the video stream. So right now I'm going to exit flash freeze and just like that instantaneously the video stream is back going properly so that's another cool feature that comes along with this kit okay last but certainly not least is going to be our artificial intelligence digital recognition demo now with this demo we are using a convolution neural network that has a built-in 10 classes now those 10 classes are going to range from zero to nine and it's going to use those 10 classes and it's going to use that fpga parallel processing capability in order to recognize the digit in real time now that is enough talk. Let's see if we can actually recognize these digits instantaneously. Okay, we're gonna start off with a three. And let's see how fast it's able to pick it up. Okay, so it was, it was pretty quick, but you know, I think it can do better. So now we're gonna switch to a two. Okay, switch to a two relatively quick. And last but not least is gonna be this four. Now this four is not the best looking for so i would be a little surprised if it's able to pick it up and how fast it's able to pick it up but let's take a look okay it was able to pick it up i wish it was a little bit faster but that's okay we can still see that it's able to pick up a number when it doesn't really look like the number but that is it for this demo and that is also it for the video so click on the link below to get more information on the hello fpga kit